Hello, this is Darren from darrenscorner.com. Uh, today we're going to be looking at part two of a five-part video tutorial series on how to integrate PHP into Tumult Hype projects. Uh, today we're going to be looking at creating a simple counter and we're just going to be looking at the PHP code. Now, as mentioned in the first video, uh, please check the link down in the comments to find out more information uh, about where to download the files that we'll be using today. Now, in the first video we showed, uh, we showed a little bit of theory and showed how to set up XAMPP. In this uh, video, what we're going to do is on the server side inside XAMPP, we're going to create a simple PHP file that accesses a counter file. Now the counter file is very, very simple. Uh, and what happens is every time that counter file, every time that PHP file is accessed, it's going to read the value in the counter file and then increment it by one and then write it back to the counter file and then display the results on the web page. So you've seen this before as a hits counter where we can see this web page has been accessed and the first time we do it one time and then two and then three and then four and so on. So that's kind of what we're going to be working on today. Um, uh, I've got XAMPP up and ready to go. I'm going to click Apache web server and say start and wait for the green light. And we're waiting. By the way, I think I'll also start up the MySQL database just for the heck of it. So we'll say starting there. And we'll be using the files in the part two folder from the link mentioned earlier. So there we go, it's running. You can bring this down. If I bring this up and go to localhost, it's working. And since I am running the MySQL server, we also will see PHP MyAdmin should be working. So if I click on that, Yep, here it is. This is what we'd use to set up a uh, PHP, uh, or excuse me, a MySQL database, uh, but we're not going to do that today. So we go here. Uh, I'm going to open up here are my files. Uh, I'm going to put them into my htdocs directory, and I think I'll just put the whole folder there. I'm just going to grab part two, edit, copy, go into here, paste. There it is, part two. And inside here, there are three files, we'll only look at two of them, the index and the counter file. The counter file is a simple ASCII file, it's very very basic, one line and it just has one in it. So the first time that we access this we're going to see one uh, and then we're out going to increment this uh, by one each time. So the index file looks something like this. Let's actually see it in action. Uh, first of all, and then we'll explain it. So I'll go to localhost forward slash part two slash index.php. There we go. And right now this just outputs counter test on and then it shows the date and the time this web page has been accessed two times. And the interesting part is if I hit refresh, I make another request to the server from the client side and it increments it. Now it's three times, four times five times. So what we're doing is again back in this diagram both of these reside on the server so every time I get a request coming in to request that PHP page it reads the counter file, gets the number, increments it, and then sends the result back. So each time we refresh that um, that counter gets incremented. Now the code to do that is not too complex. Um, again, I would strongly recommend w3schools.com and go under the learn PHP to see some of this stuff of how to work with variables and increment operations and things like that. But let's look at the code real quick. Here we saw, looked at counter, let's look at index.php. View text display show fonts and we'll bump it up to 18. So the first uh, 13 lines or so, really standard HTML, nothing tricky here. HTML head, titles, some style, nothing big. Head, uh, closing head tag, body, h1, and then we have our PHP here, and then we close the body in the HTML. So what we do is we first run a command f open counter.txt read only. So this will open the counter file, and we set that equal to a variable called, I called it counter file. You can give these variables any name, I just thought it made sense. And then we do this command, f gets counter file 1000. And what this will do is we'll read the first line out of the counter file and assign it to the variable 
counter value. Now the first time we run this it's going to be 1 and then the next and then we're going to increment it down here so the next time we run it dollar sign counter value will be 2 and so on and so forth. And then we close the counter file. Now I like to do this in two parts some people will do it a little bit differently. I like to read the value and we have the variable counter value. So we read that and then we're increment we do dollar sign counter value plus plus. That's an increment operation so it says take the value of it, increment it by one, um, and that's the new value. We could also say the new value of counter value is equal to the old value plus one. Then I do an F open but this time I use the write option which means I can write over it. Um, open up counter.txt, assign that variable to counter file, and then I do, it, I do an F write command. And I say write to the counter file, this one, and I'm going to write counter value, which I've already incremented here, and then I do an F close. Lastly, I have date, default, time zone, American Chicago, and I say, i got to make this a little wider, I do a print statement, a paragraph on this day at this time. This web page has been accessed, and I close my paragraph tag, open a new one, and I say counter value times right there. Now one of the things that's really important is in my htdocs directory, I'll go to part two, the counter is going to be written to. So we have to make sure, I'm going to say get info. Right down here we have to have read and write for all of these. If I go in and make this read only, I'll do it for all of them, there we go, and I try to read this value, I'll try, I'll read this value, I get a bunch of errors here. Failed to open stream, permission denied. And you can see if I keep incrementing, it still just says six times. So it reads in six. It does that, if we if we look at it here, it does this part fine because that's a read operation, but when it tries to do this, we keep getting errors. So that's why if we, if we take a look at our uh, file here, uh, lines 22, 23, and 24, saying uh, F open and F write we're getting warnings on. So lines 22, 23, and 24 aren't working. So all I have to do is go back, oops, go back into part two counter, and again I have to get info and make sure this is read and write, read and write, read and write. Now this is, and I'll increment again one more time, refresh, there we go, six times seven times, eight times, nine times, so ten times, something like that. So this shows uh, how we can kind of manipulate things on the server side. So it works out uh, really slick. One thing to make sure of when we when this goes live, when we quit using XAMPP and we FTP this up to our server, make sure that the read-write permissions are, that, that the uh, counter.txt file is writable. So that's part two. Thank you so much and have a great day.